Hey there, today I want to briefly consider the 6 port 50,000 milliamp hour ultra high capacity charger from the brand KO Maxstar. Now for demonstration purposes I'll also be utilizing an Asus 750, a DASNY P2 action cam, a multimeter, and I will also be utilizing these little LED lights for uh, functionality purposes. Also during demonstration I will be plugging in a Samsung Galaxy S5. Now before we begin really looking at the product, let's look at what it comes with. You know, you have your ultra high capacity charger. You have your carrying case, which is actually a really good carrying case. You know, you could carry the, uh, in addition to the charger itself fitting inside, you can carry either multiple ends if you wanted to. You could carry the one cord for the, the uh, laptop charger, or you could carry your uh charger for it and you can you can mix and match to fit different things in here it's actually come in pretty handy for that you also have your different sizing ends for different types of devices you know you're not stuck with just one type of device this is going to fit you know it'll fit different types of laptops so if you you want to check and see if it'll actually fit your type of laptop you, you may have multiple ones that this works with you know you have your uh, your cord for Fixing it from the uh, the charger itself to your laptop, and I already have the adapter for the Asus 750 hooked up. Plus, you have the uh, charger for the device itself. Now, really, with the device, you're looking at a 5 volt charger, a 12 volt, and 20 volt. Now, when you're looking at different amp outputs, you know you have your one amp for underneath this would be more like an action cam to your phones and then the 2.1 is more tablet oriented 12 volt this notes it being for um, something like a, a camera i have nothing currently that i'm charging at 12 volts so i won't be utilizing this in the demonstration and then your 20 volt is for your laptop output one thing i want to note beforehand is not to get these two mixed up you know if you do it's not like mixing up your um, your five volts a lot of times a lot of your items work off 5 volt this is kind of specific so you want to make sure that you're charging the right thing there you know functionality here is a really basic you know you have your your in or your charge you have your uh, power button and you have your four light indicator okay now when we're looking at whether or not this is going to work with your laptop you want to get out your your laptop power bank and you really want to look at it and see what the output is you know you can look at it and see like the 19 volt 6.32 amp now with uh, voltage you're talking about a plus or minus five percent you know so with the uh the asus and the the 20 volt that actually works out to be fine now if you have any questions about that and you may well have some you can contact the brand ko max star you can contact them via email or facebook or you can contact them by other, I guess, social media outlets, or you can really contact them on the product page for Amazon. They've been really helpful, and I've utilized other products by them in the past. Actually, the uh, thing up here, this is one of theirs as well, and I I've been really happy with uh, the way that they answer questions. Okay, let's look at the um, the high capacity charger, and we'll we'll look at the USB ports first. The first thing with testing is to briefly make sure that all of your USBs are outputting. This can be done really easily without plugging in an item. You can plug in something as easy as one of these little LED lights. You know, when you're you're plugging them in, I'm, I'm facing the light away from it, but what you're really wanting to do is make sure that each one works. This has been thoroughly tested before. I just want to show you demonstration-wise that how a lot of this stuff is tested. You know, when you check that, the next thing you want to do is you want to utilize something like a multimeter. Now, a multimeter basically tells you about in output, and depending on the types, they have a plus or minus degree. So, with this one, for example, you know, when we plug it in, when this is off, it won't have any output whatsoever. Where I had the LED plugged into it, it was still causing output. Like, right now, you see no output from it whatsoever. Now, when we plug in, I'm going to plug in the, uh, the P2 to outlet port one to demonstrate exactly what type of output it has now you have a plus or minus two on this and with your you you can look up exactly what your output is on a device this has an output of anywhere between 0.2 to 0.6 so that's actually a very solid output for it okay now i'm actually going to uh, plug my phone into this as well to give you another 
demonstrated thing you have again five volt is what it should be charging at you know you have plus or minus two so that's well within that and then you have your your one amp with plus or minus two which is actually really good so again you can see how these were tested now the uh the two amp ones were tested with a tablet i'm not going to be showing you that i just wanted to show you how that's tested for output also the output is tested to see whether or not at, at the end of your charging cycle it will cut off and this is this is something that cuts off as well and it does so really well so that's a that's a big thing for me if it still has output afterwards that means it's overcharging your item and this did really well in testing to make sure it cut off when my device was saying it was fully powered okay for for hookup to your uh to your laptop you're basically going to take your cord it's again very simple you want to make sure that you get the right output hook it in you want to go through you can do this it's actually pretty simple to go through and figure out which one of these is going to fit your device you know for me i when i looked at it there, there's a there's a little map that shows you in the instructions which one is made for what device but you can kind of eyeball it and see you know when i looked at it i could see well this one's not going to fit it's too small and vice versa that's square so going through you know you're just going to pop it off stick it on the cord and then you're going to plug it in regularly for power. You know, then you're going to turn it on and it's going to provide power. I'm not going to uh, provide power to it right now because my laptop is actually on. But I wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to hook up. And again, if you have any questions on that, and you may well have questions on whether or not it'll work, just contact the... Uh, the representatives from the company and they'll be more than happy to help you now when you're talking about storage you know for this device considering 50,000 milliamps that's quite a bit of output you know you're talking about for my samsung galaxy uh, really to factor this you're talking about a 2900 milliamp hour battery so at zero when it's charging perfectly you know with with no other extraneous variables put in there you know you figure that this thing is going to easily charge 11 times before i'm going to have any problems and it's supposed to charge more than that but you know there are a lot of extraneous variables that do come into play now that many charges off a device is pretty awesome if you ask me um it also does away with a lot of extra chargers that you're having to carry around it does have a little bit of weight you know and when you're comparing it to say a smaller charger you're you're obviously going to have different dimensions but the smaller chargers are not going to charge something like a laptop i know a lot of them claim that they will but when you think about laptop requirements and then you think about something like um you know a, a six thousand milliamp hour charger trying to charge a laptop i mean that that's crazy really when you get down to it it may keep it running for a little while but we're talking about something that will allow you to stay out and charge for a long period of time all right now i hope that this helps somewhat and if you have any questions let me know i'll try to help you but again you can contact the company as well all right thank you very much i hope that helped thank you